Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Is Danielle Collins the strong WTA player using a different racket for doubles than for her singles play? She's been seen playing doubles at Indian Wells with a Solinko whiteout. Uh, at least what, that's what it looks like in pictures. She normally uses a Baba Pure Arrow. In doubles, she's been using the whiteout. Why? Uh, it's hard to, to know. Maybe she's just testing around where doubles is not the main priority. That would be a guess. Uh, but normally I would say that if you would like to use a different doubles racket compared to your singles racket, that should be a little bit more of a forgiving racket, a little bit larger head size for those reaction volleys and something that, you know, accentuates your serve and, def uh, serve and return play. Because in doubles, you have three different characteristics that you need to focus on more, serve, return and volleys. Those things are the most important in my opinion. You don't hit as many ground strokes. And they're also from a different point of view because you have to hit them cross court or you have to think fast on your feet. They have to be reaction shots. So you need definitely a more forgiving racket, I would say, for doubles. So when I've been playing doubles on my relatively low level, I'm using maybe a racket like the Radical MP for the singles when I played the ITF Masters in Malaga recently. And I've used the Babalat Soft Drive customized for doubles because I wanted a bit more sweet spot, a bit more uh, forgiveness when I hit volleys. So I get fast incoming volleys. I can just react while the Radical MP has a pretty small sweet spot. It has a 98 screen racket with a denser string pattern. So it's definitely something to consider if you're playing a lot of singles and doubles uh, or you just want to maximize your doubles game. I say it makes sense to, to use a more forgiving, maybe a little bit stiffer racket for doubles. Uh, like a pure drive or wilson ultra or head boom or whatever some players might think you want to use a more control oriented racket have more touch on volleys but i think it's a reaction game and when you have to react to fast paced incoming balls it makes sense to be have more forgiveness if you want a control racket i'd consider for example the, the gravity uh, rackets could be a great option if you want control and still have that little bit more of a sweet spot for those fast off center shots so there are different uh, options to consider here. I don't really know why she's using a, a whiteout, but I'm gonna keep following it and see if that's there's a reason to be found out somewhere. And if you know, please let me know in the comments or via Tennis Nerd Insta. It's always fascinating to talk about these things, why a pro would, would keep changing rackets, why she would be considering using different brands in different scenarios. I mean, obviously she's a sponsor player by Babola, as far as I know, so. Uh, it could also be uh, a bit weird that she's testing Solinko in the doubles. But maybe she's considering a switch and that's where she decides to, to try it. Thanks to you guys. Posted in the Facebook group and alerted me to this. Do you use a different racket for doubles and singles? And why do you think Daniel Collins is uh, seen here with the Solinko whiteout instead of her regular Baula Pure Arrow? If you want help with your racket strings and so on, check out my course and my consultations. They are on tennisnerd.net slash help. There's also loads of content like reviews and stuff that will help you find the right racket and string setup for your game. That is all. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis. But let's stick with the doubles theme a little bit more. Big congrats to Rohan Bopanna, who is now the oldest man ever to win an ATP Masters title after his win at the BNP Paribas. Very impressive. He's 43 years old. That gives hopes to us older guys. But what racket has he been using? I've got some questions on Instagram. He used to use a Pure Storm Limited but then switched to the Aero Pro Drive. This is now painted as a regular Pure Aero. And then he painted it black. I guess he lost Bablat as his sponsor and was using a blacked out version for a while. But for the Indian Wells and maybe a bit before, he used a specific paint. And I don't know exactly what it is, but it does look like a Aero Pro Drive still or Pure Aero. Not exactly sure which it is. But if you have any more information about his racket, let me know. But congrats to him for his doubles achievement.